I'm Adam from EnglishAcorn.com and in this tutorial or video we're going to look at installing plugins in Construct 2. Now if I open up Construct 2 and if I create a new empty project, when I double click on the empty space or click on right click insert new object, I'm given a list. Now sometimes you hear me refer to these as objects and sometimes you hear me refer to them as plugins because their action and their property can be installed um, simply via uh, installing a new plugin so the terms are interchangeable um, I'm just going to close this and I'm just going to open up Construct 2 again because I've just realized I haven't refreshed it since I removed a plugin if I go to file and new again um, and then go to the list you may have noticed before I had something called Q3D up there that's a plugin I had recently purchased um, at the moment it's not there and I'm just going to show you how to install it so if I go to my desktop first I notice above data storage is nothing but if I go to my desktop this is the plugin which I have downloaded from the link I was given after I made the purchase I haven't explored the plugin yet but um, it's one of the few plugins I actually have installed so I thought I'd just take it out just to show you if I come to the where you've installed Construct 2 uh, mine's in my program files and if I go into it and then if I go to exporters HTML5 and then to plugins all the objects can, um, I can use when I double click on this for example these objects are contained within here so for example if I go to the top I've got nine patch Ajax a app Mo Mobi. so if I go to WordPress um, they may have slightly different names but if I type in Ajax for example the Ajax objects there uh, the app Mobi is now called something else um, so that's it won't be called that mode anymore I'm trying to think of what it's called I can't remember it changed to I think it's Intel uh, something we've got the nine patch object and we've got the rest here as well to simply add or install a new plugin all you need to do is to drag the folder of that plugin into your plugin your plugins folder um, and to find it again simply go to where you've installed Construct 2 then you go to exporters then you go to HTML5 then you go to uh, template no plugins and then you simply drag your file in to that folder and then you click on continue because you need administration permissions normally and now it's within this folder I can close that and I can close Construct 2 save don't save any changes and when I open it again and then I go to file new new empty project and when I double click the Q3D plugin is now available as above my arrays um, so that's a simple way of how to install plugins you and also how to remove them you just basically place them within your plugins folder uh, thank you very much for watching